Thank you so much for joining us here on CNN News 18. Lodger Liu is an associate uh, uh, professor at Flame University, Maharashtra. He is also expert on South Asia and Southeast uh, Asia. So thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18. Let me start with my first question. Since you are an expert on South Asia and Southeast Asian related matters, how do you read this? How, how would you interpret this recent visit of President of Taiwan, Tsai Ing-wen, to United States? And in fact, yesterday, she met uh, uh, U.S. Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy. There, were, there was a joint press conference uh, by, by the two leaders. How do you interpret this recent development? Um, I will say that Taiwan has been long using this, uh, what they call the transit diplomacy. Um, we're on the way to visit the United States and to meet important uh, American diplomats or American uh, public uh, officials. They are trying to show that although Taiwan now has no official uh, diplomatic relations with the United States, but U.S. support towards Taiwan is still very solid and consolidated. Uh, especially when President Tsai Ing-wen was visiting um, uh, not only the United States, but she is also going to uh, some South American uh, allies, few of the South uh, um, American allies that Taiwan have for now to consolidate the relationship between Taiwan and these countries as well. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, uh, uh, America is the biggest supplier of arms to uh, Taiwan. In fact, at the time of Nancy Pelosi's visit, uh, uh, it was a much uh, a, a much hyped visit in terms of aggression which China has shown. This time around, uh, the aggression was less. There were some uh, airspace violations, and in fact, uh, uh, you know, some of the uh, vessels, Chinese vessels, were also uh, spotted by by satellites near Taiwanese island. So China did react to this visit, and in fact, uh, at a diplomatic level also. They say uh, they have issued a statement uh, condemning uh, U.S. government uh, meeting uh, uh, pre uh, President Tsai. Uh, how do you see uh, uh, this reaction coming from China? Uh, uh, China and 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 do you see that? Uh, and what has changed in last six months since the visit of Nancy Pelosi? This is the second visit. Nancy Pelosi landed in uh, in Taiwan. This time around, that situation was avoided, and instead of that, Tsai Ing Wen went to America and on American soil, this meeting took place. So what has changed and what is the difference between U.S. speaker going to uh, Taiwan and uh, American uh, and Taiwanese president going to U.S.? What is the difference? Is Was it to pacify China this time around? Um, well, I think um, the difference is that because the Taiwanese president was going to visit uh, the South American allies anyway. So she was making use of this uh, transit uh, to uh, make contact with important uh, U.S. officials, including the House Speaker, uh, Mr. M McCarthy. So um, I think, um, well, the both sides, well, between U.S. Uh, and Taiwan have actually or orchestrated a very uh, carefully crafted uh, plans to make uh, important uh, contact in a very natural way to happen. Because, well, China has been voicing its concerns before the visit and uh, has threatened Taiwan and the United States that they will take some actions uh, to respond. So I think to uh, better uh, balance the power between the different um, between the different sides of the Taiwan Strait, U.S. actually has been really careful about this as well. They don't want to um, infuriate China in in an unnecessary way, but at the same time, it want to voice its uh, support to Taiwan, uh, which has existed uh, consist consistently and constantly as usual. Well, that's right. In fact, uh, U.S. has been so careful that uh, the transit uh, happened, the transit meet happened in Lo Los Angeles. And in fact, uh, uh, the meeting did not happen at, uh, at some diplomatic building. But instead of that, uh, uh, Ronald Reagan library was selected as a place uh, for a venue. Even observers say that the place, location, everything was worked out or uh, uh, worked out very carefully by us government so that they so that they should not uh, they, any of their acts should not violate the one china policy do you agree to this i agree with that and that, that well in diplomacy actually the 
the selection of venue of meeting actually uh, demonstrate a lot of things, including some uh, its symbolic meanings. Well, first, Ronald Reagan is the was a strong, a staunch supporter of Taiwan. If you remember, yeah, he has signed um, uh, August seventeenth communique, which is considered yeah. to be one of the three most important communiques being signed between uh, China and the United States after yeah. the um, after their warming up of their relations. The August yeah. 17th communique voices the strongest support from the U.S. to Taiwan, including the supply of weapons. So if yeah. you consider the recent development between U.S. and Taiwan that U.S. has initiated the National Defense Authoritiz Authorization Act and uh, promising continuing um, uh, the selling of weapons to Taiwan. So I, I, I think the U.S. government tried to, uh, by selecting the right venue to voice the support from the U.S. that to Taiwan will be there, well, finally, yeah. Well, oh yes, absolutely. And also, uh, uh, you know, last time around, we saw multiple military exercises by China in Taiwan Strait. And in fact, uh, there were there were multiple uh, missile firing by China. In fact, some of the missiles did went over uh, uh, Taipei, uh, Taipei City. So that was, uh, that was the level of uh, escalation that uh, China had shown at the time of Nancy Pelosi's uh, visit. And in fact, many observers say this time, uh, this year, it was Kevin McCarthy who was expected to visit Taiwan. But uh, uh, but uh, since U.S. has worked out very carefully, uh, so uh, last moment it was decided uh, that that uh, some arrangements could uh, could be made so that Tsai Ing Wen travel to uh, America because otherwise, uh, if Kevin McCarthy had gone to Taiwan, that would have uh, uh, created a lot of issues uh, in terms of China reacting uh, more aggressively. Yes. Um, well. Well, if you check at the same time, there is another group of uh, U.S. Congress people visiting. Well, they are staying in Taiwan for now, visiting different department, the ministries. So the U.S. is trying to um, deliver a, a, a package that, uh, con you know, uh, contains different purposes and different functions that will cover the needs of each side. So I think what they are doing is very comprehensive. Because they, um, you know, at the same time that um, to, uh, um, upon, under the uh, in, invitation of the Communist Party, the ex-president of Taiwan, Mr. Ma ying -jo, was visiting China now. now. I, I was so, coming um, to that, yeah. Yeah, so, well, to, to create a counterbalance, I think the U.S. has been um, thinking about, you know, many uh, diplomats diplomatic uh, techniques and um, ways to uh, strongly voice its uh, support towards Taiwan by using different ways. So Tsai Ing-wen was in US, the former president was in China. What is happening? Uh, are these leaders engaging uh, America, China for their own domestic politics? How do you see this? Well, there are different theories, just like you said. Some people view this as a uh, uh, carefully orchestrated uh, Taiwanese, you know, diplomatic policy to kind of balance between China and the United States. But, um, uh, well, I would say that this actually is a product of different, uh, uh, you know, politics uh, from the democratic uh, partisan politics of Taiwan. Because um, uh, President Ma ying belongs to the KMT or the Nationalist. This is a party which supports uh, collaboration and uh, pro-unification more. So when he was the president from uh, 2008 to 2016, he has been uh, supporting um, you know, uh, yeah. interaction and interchange with China. So now he just, what, what he is doing is to go back to voice uh, the policy of his party and his government for the past few years, trying to get some vote for the coming uh, presidential elections in January of 2024. Mm. Mm, that's right. In fact, uh, you know, even reports tell us that uh, in yesterday's meeting, uh, there were members from the uh, from the committee, which uh, uh, from the American side, there were members from the committee which uh, which look after uh, uh, China and chi China related issues. So, how would you like to comment on that? The committee that looks at China and China-related issues. 
yeah um, the members of those committee may... were part of the meeting yesterday which took place at uh, ronald reagan library in los angeles well um well traditionally in the us politics or the in the us legislature um there were always a group of people who has expressed their staunch support to taiwan uh so back before uh, the us has uh, taiwan caucus uh for a while um for uh, uh, that that usually is a bipartisan um group existing in the different branches of a congress so i think uh by bringing more people uh together us or the us congress trying to show to china that the support towards taiwan is not only done by a few congress people it has wide support in the legislatures of the us which represents american people's voice and ideas okay thank you so much for speaking to cnn news 18 we are looking forward for many such opportunities in coming days thank you so much you are much welcome thank you